In this video, we will be combining integration by parts and trigonometric substitution in order to integrate this. So we are going to try and integrate this. So visualize this as being one block multiplying with another block. So let this be uh, v prime. If this is v prime, then 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 if, when you integrate it, v will become this. Now if this is u, then if you differentiate it, it will give you this thing here. So now blindly follow this uh, this formula. So integration by parts is saying get u times v. It's saying get get u times v. That will then give us this. And then you've got your minus here. And then uh, so this is your minus. Uh, and then it's saying get u prime times v. It's saying get u prime times v. So you see this minus here, it will cancel out with this thing here. Well, you, you, um, so, so, so this minus here will cancel out with this minus here. That will then give you a positive. And then it's saying get u prime, u prime times v times v. So that would be these two multiplying together. That will then give you this. And don't forget you've got a minus here and a minus here. That will then give you a positive. So think about it. It will take you to here. So now we've got to use some um, uh, trigonometric substitution in order to integrate this. In order to integrate this. So now using trigonometric substitution, um, your, eyes should your eyes should zoom into this bit here and then create a triangle in such a way that uh, this block will, will be true. So if you make the hypotenuse to be 1 and make the opposite to be x, then the adjacent will have no choice but to be this thing here. So notice we've got a, this thing here. Well, anyway, we've created our, our triangle. Now we need to somehow extract dx. So dx, well, if you look at this, um, uh, sine, sine theta equals um, opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. So, so sine theta equals this thing here. So, so, um, so differentiate both sides. That will then give us this. So now we've got our, we've got our dx. Later on, we can put this into the dx, and then uh, and then we we still need to extract this. Well, we still need to extract this. So if you look at this, um, cos cos is this thing here. Cos theta equals uh, adjacent over hypotenuse, which is this thing here. So now we've got this complicated thing, which is this thing here. We can we can now put this into here, and then we we still need to take care of this x. So, uh, so, so looking at this x, it's this thing here. So we can put this into the x, into this x here. That will then give us this block here. Uh, don't forget dx. We can put this into the dx. That will then give us this thing here. And then uh, this complicated thing here, we can put cos theta into this complicated thing. That will then give us this thing here. So, uh, so uh, this whole thing here will then become this. So now it's just a matter of tidying this up. Hang on. So tidy this up. Um, that will then become uh, 1 over sine theta. And then that is really a cosecant of theta. So, uh, so now, to in well, we've, we've done this uh, many times. We, we know how to integrate this. When you integrate this, it, it gives you this thing here. Okay, so so I'm I'm asking you to accept this. When you integrate, when you integrate cosecant, it gives you this thing here. Okay, I'm, I'm asking you to accept that because we've done it many times. And um, by the way, you if you if you have trouble remembering uh, how to integrate this and this, then just try and visualize this diagram. Uh, secant secant uh, of x, uh, secant theta of secant of x is this thing here. This is secant. Hang on. This is secant here. So, uh, so when you integrate secant, um, think uh, think about this. It will be secant, secant, and then you've got your your tan. So you've got your tan. So, so when you when you integrate this, try and picture this in your mind. Um, so it's it's going to be like this. Uh, you've got your secant, and then you've got your your secant again, and then you've got your tan. You've got your tan. And then when it comes to integrating this, try and visualize this arrow here. So re remember, secants like this. So when you integrate it, it will be the, the arrow in the same direction, 
and then it would be this arrow here, um, which is cotangent. Well, develop your own way of, um, of re remembering this. Uh, and just remember that this is a minus and this is a plus. So if you have trouble remembering this, then try and try and picture this. So you've got your your arrow here, and then another arrow here, and then and then you've got your you've got your if, if you're trying to integrate this. Then, then, then visualize this arrow here, and then you've got another arrow here. But well, develop your own way of doing it. Anyway, integrate this. That will then give us this thing here. Okay. So that will then take us to uh, to here. That will then take us to here. Um, but the, so, so this is our answer here. But we don't want the answer in terms of theta and in terms of cotangent. So we would go back to our original diagram. So go back to our original diagram. Which was this thing here, and then translate it. So co um, cosecant. So this is cosecant here. Will be one over one over x. Will be one over x. So this thing here would then be this. Um, cotangent. Cotangent would be this. It would be adjacent over over opposite. It would be adjacent over opposite. So uh, so cotangent would then give you. Will then give you this block here, and then now same denominator, same denominator, merge them together. That will then give you this. So this is our final answer. Okay.